Hello. I'm really excited about the next monologue because it's been one that I found very difficult over a number of years and I've come to it again recently and I think it, it really helps coming with, with fresh eyes. Um, and it's a particularly tricky monologue for any actor because Lady Anne is getting to a place within the monologue where she experiences and expresses deep sorrow. And then suddenly she switches that sorrow very suddenly into rage and pure anger directed at Richard. And there's a few tools, I think, that can really help the actor in performing the monologue. And one of them is to look and examine closely the lines that Shakespeare uses when Lady Anne is addressing the body. And you'll see that very long vowel sounds are used by Shakespeare. And I think that really, really helps the actor. Um, so, for example, Lady Anne says, poor, key, cold figure of a holy king. You can hear those beautiful vowels bellow out and affect the actor and in turn affect the audience. And another tool, actually, I think that can be really helpful is instead of using those lines where Lady Anne is addressing the king, as a, a form of description of the dead body, to use those lines as a form of active address. So she's saying, poor king, uh, bloodless remnants, listen to me, listen to where I am at this moment. Um, and that, that really helped as well, I think. So enjoy, thanks for watching. Set down, set down your honourable load, if honour may be shrouded in a hearse, Whilst I a while obsequiously lament the untimely fall of Birchus Lancaster. Poor, key cold figure of a holy king. Pale ashes of the house of Lancaster. Thou bloodless remnant of that royal blood. Be it lawful that I invocate thy ghost to hear the lamentations of poor Anne. Wife, to thy Edward, to thy slaughtered son, stabbed by the selfsame hand that made these wounds. Lo, in those windows that let forth thy life, I poured the helpless balm of my poor eyes. Cursed be the hand that made these fatal holes. Cursed the heart that had the heart to do it. Cursed the blood that let this blood from hence. More direful appetite that hated wretch that makes us wretched by the death of thee than I can wish to adders, spiders, toads or any creeping venomed thing that lives. If ever he have child, abortive be it, prodigious and untimely brought to light whose ugly and unnatural aspect may fright the hopeful mother at the view. If ever he have wife, let her be made more miserable by the death of him, than I am made by my young lord and thee. Come now towards Chertsey with your holy load, taken from Paul's to be interred there, and still, as you are weary of the weight, rest you, whilst I lament King Henry's course.